Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, a judge ordering life in prison without the possibility of parole in the murder of a U.S. Coast Guard member, Caroline Scholar. Her parents describing what her killer took away from them. All I have are my memories and a grand headstone. I will never walk my daughter down the aisle. I will never know her as a mother. I'll never know her children. Tyree Parker shot and killed the 27 year old outside her Riverside home in August of last year. Yeah, um, he pleaded guilty to second degree murder and armed robbery in July. News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati has been following this case since the beginning. Renee, you were inside the courtroom when Parker's sentence was handed down this afternoon. It was an extremely emotional day inside of the courtroom here as scholars loved ones finally got the justice they've been waiting for. Parker did apologize for what he did, but the judge still sentenced him to life, saying that listening to the 911 calls from that day were some of the most chilling things she's ever heard. A judge showing no mercy for Tyree Parker. He learned he will now spend the rest of his life in prison, a little more than one year after he shot and killed 27-year-old Caroline Scholar. During victim impact statements, her fiancé recalled the morning of August 3, 2021. I was awoken by gunfire in my home. I ran outside to see Caroline laying on the ground and rushed to her side to administer first aid. I can still see her looking up at me. The sheriff's office says Scholar confronted Parker, breaking into her car outside her home on Myra Street, holding him at gunpoint and calling 911. She was shot and killed while on the phone with dispatch. I will never be able to see the plans the Lord had for her because of a senseless act of violence. Scholar was a member of the Coast Guard assigned with the Hitron unit, a specialized helicopter squadron dedicated to drug interdictions. Her friends and family say she always rooted for the underdog and advocated for women in the military. I will forever miss her embrace, her smile, her laughter, or just the love that she showered upon anybody that she knew. Parker addressed the court, apologizing for his actions. I just want to say I'm sorry for what I died. It was a bad thing. And I wish I could bring the person back, but I can't. Through the pain, Scholar's loved ones are now remembering her life as a loving daughter, friend, and comrade. Members of Parker's family were also inside the courtroom here today. His aunt apologizing to the victim's family, saying she was extremely sorry for all of the pain that Parker has caused them. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, the local station.